Michael, that word will, she will testify. It's one thing to tell the public. It's one thing to tell the court outside the presence of the jury that she's planning to testify. She will testify. But once you say it to a jury, there's almost no turning back. She's getting convicted if she doesn't take the stand based on that. You're correct, Julia. When you are doing your opening statements, you are creating credibility points for you to, f to follow up on, right? We all know that a, a state or a defense attorney, if they say something in the opening statements and they don't pr produce it during the case, they lose credibility. Ha it has happened many times in many cases. So we now know that she is going to testify. This, has, this is like the analogy of an airplane. Once it reaches, I think, v V2 speed on a takeoff, it can no longer safely abandon the takeoff. It's got to take off. Right, that's where this case is, and that's where the decision of her testifying is. She she cannot turn back, and I'm, honestly, I'm not shocked. Uh, this is one of the instances where I wouldn't have wanted her to testify if I was able to keep out the the interrogation videos. I know they couldn't because of the fact that she lied. But in his opening statement, he also said, "My client lied." He used the word "lied," which I, I think that was a little bit too much, right? There's another way of phrasing, but he said she lied. So he's getting the jury ready in condition for her testimony. And he's saying to them, look, they're going to cross examine her and they're going to say she lied. I'm telling you that she lied. You don't have to wait for that. Well, don't wait for the camera. She lied. She was nervous. She was talking to police. It was two hours. She didn't think that she could leave. So at the end of the day, and we know they filed a pretrial motion to try to keep it out and saying that they didn't redirect. So we know that they believe that his client has convinced him, I'm a victim them here everybody else is wrong I'm right so I I've been in those meetings I know the meetings when you're with a client who thinks that they are the victim but too much so and she has controlled she fired eight nine lawyers so we I know how she got to this point it's by telling her lawyer you want to be my lawyer I want to testify I didn't lie it wasn't my fault I was just it was done so uh, mm -hmm. that's why I'm gonna be so entertained to, to watch her testimony yeah, the other caveat was, uh, uh, and I'm not taking a deal if you're my lawyer, I'm sure, because the other eight were like, take the deal, take the deal. Um, 